In the case of People v. Uh, Conrad Robert Murray, Dr. Murray is present with his counsel, Mr. Chernoff, Mr. Flanagan, Mr. Gorgian, and Mr. Pena. The people are represented by their counsel, Mr. Walgren and Ms. Brazil, all 12 jurors and the alternates have joined us and are present. To everybody, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. To the jurors, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to see you. At this time, we're going to resume with the presentation by the defense. And Mr. Chernoff, good morning. You may call your next witness. Thank you, Judge. We're going to call Gary Causey. Please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly state that the testimony you may give in the cause now pending before this court shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes. Please be seated. Please state your name for the record. Spell your first and last names. My name is Gary Causey, G-E-R-R-Y. C A U S E Y. Mr. Causey, good morning. Good morning. Let me provide you with some introductory instructions that I give to every witness in every case. The first instruction is to please sit back and relax. Okay. The second instruction is to speak in a loud voice, and that way everyone can hear you. The third instruction is to answer a question, yes or no, if it's called for, rather than using slang like uh huh, uh uh, which can be tricky. Okay. The last instruction, Mr. Causey, is to wait until you hear an entire question before you even start to answer it. In our everyday lives, many of us are used to speaking over each other because we think, what we, we think we know what the question asks. But in a courtroom, it's important to simply wait, hear the whole question, and then respond to it. Is all of that okay? Yes. Thank you. Direct examination, Mr. Chernoff. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Mr. Causey, how are you this morning? I'm fine, thank you. You nervous? Mm -hmm. No? No. All right. Um, Mr. Causey, um, uh, where do you live? I live in uh, Cedar City, Utah. All right. And um, uh, how did you uh, get here today? How did you I, get to L.A.? I drove. Um, and um, do you know this gentleman sitting to my left here? Dr. Yes. Dr. Murray? Yes. Indicating the defendant, Dr. Murray. How long have you known him? Uh, Eleven years. Eleven years. Where were you living eleven years ago? Uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay. I want to talk about the circumstances, about how you got to know Dr. Murray. Uh, what happened eleven years ago that precipitated you uh, meeting Dr. Murray? I had a heart attack. Okay. Can you give us some some idea about how that occurred, where that was when that occurred? Uh, I was at home early in the morning, approximately 4 o'clock. Okay. And they transported me to University, University Medical Center. Okay. And when you got there, what occurred there? Um, they couldn't stop the heart attack. Um, then they called in Dr. Murray. All right. And prior to that time, you had never met Dr. Murray before? No. Right. Double negative? Prior to 2000, 1999, you had not met Dr. Murray? No. Is, is that correct? That's correct. All right. And um, um, what happened next? Uh, he talked to me for a few minutes, uh, told me the procedure that he was going to have to do, uh, made sure that I understood exactly what I was going to go through. Um, they had me sign some paperwork, which was, uh, I think, a release or something to that effect. Uh, then they took me upstairs to the operating room. What procedure was going to be done? 
he was going in through an angiogram and check and see what was causing the problem. Okay. Now, at that prior to going to the hospital, had you known that you had heart difficulty? I had high blood pressure. Had you? Ever, I knew that, and I took medication. Had you ever had any indication that you were going to have a heart attack or any problems with your heart? No. So this was quite a shock. This was a shock to you. Yes. Were you scared? Yeah. Yes. Okay. yes. How, how old were you at the time, Mr. Uh, Fifty-seven. Okay. Tell us about the procedure that that, that occurred. Uh, they didn't knock me out. I didn't want them to do that. They uh, didn't. I'm sorry. Repeat that. They didn't sedate me. Uh, I, they give me pain medication, but I wanted to be awake to watch the procedure. Okay. Uh, he let me do that. Um, Mr. Causey, when you say you were not sedated, you were not knocked out. Is that what you're saying? That's right. All right. But yes. You, but you did receive certain medications to calm you down. Is that right? Yes. But you stayed awake. Pardon me? But you stayed awake during the procedure. Yes. All right. And, and what occurred during the procedure? Um, I watched him go up through my <coughs> veins and arteries, find the problem. He told me he had found the problem, and the minute, that, the minute, the second that he put it in, there was no more pain. Did you see that on the screen while that was happening? Yes. Was, did, did Dr. Murray explain to you what the process was and what the procedure was that he was doing? Dr. Murray always explains everything. Now, after the procedure, you would have, do you, can you tell us, did you receive a stent during that procedure? Yes. Um, how many stents did you receive? One on that occasion. Okay. After the procedure, um, did you have, uh, did you have any follow-up visits with Dr. Murray? Yes. Okay. And um, how soon afterwards did you have that follow-up visit? Um, two months. February. Okay. And when I say follow-up, I mean go to Dr. Murray's office. Uh, I had gone to the doctor, Dr. Murray's office. Uh, I think it was approximately three weeks after the procedure, first procedure, and he set me up for the second procedure. Okay. And did he perform that second procedure as well? Yes, he did. And Mr. Causey, during... How, you, this this was 10 or 11 years ago. Um, have you uh, remained in contact with Dr. Murray? Constantly. And, and we don't want to go into things that, he, that Dr. Murray would have said to you or you said to him while this case is going on, okay? Uh, so focus on my questions. I'm going to be direct. Um, but um, why the constant contact? You can ask a, a, a leading question in this regard, focusing on the uh, what, issues at hand, please. Was this with the constant contact? Was it because of your medical condition? Partly, yes. And what was the other part? My friend. Now, your um, after your heart um, attack, after your your stents were put in, did you develop a friendship with Dr. Murray? Yes. Okay, and that friendship has lasted. Till today. Till today. Now, have you, uh, you've had other doctors in the past, have you not? I have. Um, and you've, you, you've developed friendships with them as well? No. Uh, well, why Dr. Murray? It's because of Dr. Murray. His, uh, the way he cares for you and the way he makes you feel and the concern and the love for you, he has for you. There have been allegations in this trial. Have you been watching this trial, Mr. Causey? Some. Okay. There have been allegations in this trial that Dr. Murray um, abandons his patients. No. Do, you have, do you have an opinion about that? Objection, Ms. Day's testimony. The testimony is he abandoned Michael Jackson. The objection is, well, that may or may not be the case. The, the objection is overruled. You may answer it. 
Would you repeat the questions, please? Do you have an opinion about whether Dr. Murray has the type of character to abandon patients? Never. He would not do that. During the, 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 the time periods that you visited Dr. Murray's office, did he rush you in and out and, and uh, during the process, like, like uh, some doctors might? Uh, no, he took probably more time than he should. I've been in Dr. Murray's office on uh, appointment four and a half hours. And as a doctor patient and as a friend. There, there have been um, allegations made that Dr. Murray would, does not inform patients about their process and procedures that they're going through. The objection is sustained. Uh, ask the uh, do you, question. Do Thank you, you. Do you have an opinion about whether or not Dr. Murray is thorough in his discussions with, with, uh, uh, with patients about the dangers and process and procedures of their um, treatment? Yes. What is that opinion? I don't think he could ever be too thorough, but he will spend the time that it takes. And he does it in, I call it layman's terms, okay, because he'll do it so that you perfectly understand it. He will let you ask questions. Um, while you were there, he will call your family, make sure that they understand, and uh, call my wife every appointment and told her exactly what the my, my uh, what I was uh, going through the do you have an opinion about whether Dr. Murray is motivated by money that he's a greedy man do you have an opinion about that yes and what opinion is that Mr. Causey there's no way he's not greedy uh, I mean you, he <clears throat> He doesn't charge me my uh, deductibles or nothing. He uh, n never has. Uh, I've sent patients to him, my employees, my secretary, um, that uh, he didn't even know if they had insurance. And he took care of them. There, there was a time um, um, when you, uh, but you, when you were treated, you had insurance, didn't you? Yes. Okay. Uh, and uh, you, you're on Medicare, is that right? I am now. Okay. Um, all right. The when Dr. Murray, you, were you were you aware of the when Dr. Murray took took a job with Michael Jackson. Were you ever in, informed of that? Yes. D did, did you feel abandoned by Dr. Murray as a result of that? Sustain. What, do, you, do you have an opinion about whether Dr. Murray abandoned his patients? Jackson asked an answer, Your Honor. Sustain. How did you become aware that he was taking the job? He called me to his office and told me the the position he was going to take. He told me that he would be back. He told me that he had uh, made arrangements for me to have care. Um, I have all of his phone numbers. He told me to call him any time. And uh, he would um, take care of what I needed. Thank you for coming up here, Mr. Causey. That's all I have. Mr. Chernow, thank you. Cross-examination by the people. Thank Mr. You. Walgren. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Mr. Kazi, when did you uh, drive out to Los Angeles? I have a problem here. In I'm sorry. For purposes of your testimony, when did you drive out to Los Angeles? I came down uh, 